So let's see. Yeah, there's distance between you and somebody. I don't know who it is, but there's distance. You know what I'm saying? And maybe they in a whole other situation where <laughs> that situation, like I said, is not going so well. But what are we discussing? Like I said, I feel like it's going to be some third party for a career. Look, social media, child. Okay, so somebody's talking. Somebody's fine. Watching you online, reminiscing, missing you and shit. What's the message? <laughs> what is the message? Look, baby, what did I say? Didn't I say we finna talk about some third-party fuckery? Toxic relationship. And you know what? They probably got a whole toxic-ass relationship because they spying on you. So, so your person, if they are dealing with somebody else, they could be in a whole bunch of bullshit with each other, fighting each other, arguing, hitting even. All because this female energy or this male, which, you know, whichever applies to you, they know that this person watch you and stalk you and shit. And then they look. <laughs> Surrender was on. Look, child, you got unfinished business. Damn, I wasn't going to take all these. Look, roll the dice and. Child, yeah. So your person took a risk. <laughs> your person took a risk, collective. But the risk they took. Mm -mm, yeah. Your person. I feel like whoever this person they in a toxic ass relationship with, they are seeing this person's true colors. They seeing this person as a whole snake. And it look like they want to come back to you, little child. But they 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 a little afraid. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because they don't know how you feel. Oh, child, I tell you, look, I cannot make this shit up. This is the same reading from the other day. I'm sorry, y'all, but it is, well, some of it is, this beginning part. But this is some third party fuckery that I feel like the universe is about to let y'all know. But, whoever your person is, your ex, the one that was a player, the universe done stepped in a situation. This ex is now ready to surrender this player energy. They are afraid and scared and uneasy because maybe they feel like, you know, after the shit that they done put you through, you may not take them back. Look, but they feel like y'all meant to be together, though. Right now, I kind of feel like this person is going through some type of breakup with somebody that they in a very toxic ass relationship with. They watch you because they want to come back to you. But whoever they took this risk with, they took a chance on somebody. Come to find out that this person was a whole snake, Chan. That was a whole snake. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, they they probably fight this shit because of you collective. Because this because I love you by faith. Evans is on. I love you. I need you. I want you. So maybe they that's what they fight about. You know what I'm saying? Because it's better here. They out. It says fighting, codependent, misunderstanding, trigger. Your person is in a whole toxic ass relationship with somebody that's a snake. And this person most likely is probably jealous of you collective because they know this person want to be with you. They probably caught this person stalking your social media or something. She, and they know that this person want to come back to you because this, look how this female is looking at unfinished business. They know that this person want to come back to you and they, you know, they're the third party just pissed the fuck off. They upset. They mad. You hear me? They mad. But that's what your person get. Trying to take a chance with somebody else only to be deceived, shoot, and play, basically. That's what they get. That is what they get. Now they want you watching you, stalking you. Yeah, y'all, because y'all done blocked them. That's fine. Y'all block this person. <laughs> Look, and some of y'all feel like it may be too late. Shit, you don't want them there. You don't want to fuck with them no more. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, this person feel like a fucking jackass. They do. Let me get these cards right here, y'all. Hold on. They, they blew by the window. Okay, look. Too late. STD. Karmic lesson. Queen B. Fake pregnancy. Bad credit child. Yeah, baby. Your person was definitely deceived. And I would feel like a jackass if I found out all this shit, too. <laughs> your person, see what I'm saying? Your person could have thought that the person that they were going towards had it all with that Queen Bee energy. Mm -hmm. But come to find out that they didn't. They didn't. But let's see. Let's get nosy, y'all. Let's see what is going on. 
What's going on in this so toxic ass relationship, speed? <laughs> what is going on in this toxic relationship? The person was snaked, y'all. What is going on in this toxic? Yeah, see. They married this person. Some of y'all, they married somebody. They took a risk. They married somebody only to come to find out that this person was a fucking snake. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> somebody got some baby. Yeah. So somebody in this relationship got an STD. <laughs> mm. I don't know if it's your person. I don't know if it's the, the karmic. I don't know. It could be both of them. But baby, the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. But some of y'all, the truth done came out that this karmic already had some type of STD before your person got with them. And your person is fucking not happy. But that's what they get for letting their pride <clears throat> Pride and ego getting their motherfucking way. The person was arrogant as fuck. So they ain't doing nothing but reason what the fuck they sold. What's going on in this toxic ass relationship? One of them got an STD, if not both of them. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, thug. So y'all probably dealing with a thug. Shit. Or your person could think they a thug or something, but this thug got an STD. So if your person was like a street nigga, yeah. Self explanatory. Some of y'all, your person may have even went to jail. Your person, you could be dealing with somebody with a lot of tattoos, um, face, neck, all that shit. Or you just dealing with a street nigga. This person could have got could have got arrested, or they could be about to be arrested. <clears throat> Look, you got secluded, separation, reflecting, soul searching. Yeah, so your somebody done withdrew from the other person, and if they in jail, shit. Well, of course they gonna spend time secluded from this other person. <laughs> So, either your person is just a street nigga and they done got caught up with somebody who done gave them something and now they not, they not fucking with this person. They spending time, you know, by themselves, you know, taking their medicine, healing, whatever the case may be. Look, yep, this divine masculine. Ooh. So, some of y'all, your person took a risk, got with somebody, committed to that person only for that person to get them something and they could have they could I ain't gonna lie some of y'all y'all person could have even jumped on this karmic or or tried to do something like domestic violence or something to this karmic and end up getting arrested and now they're not fucking with that person because they feel like a jackass for even fucking with them to begin with people was telling this person that man you know everybody done had her <laughs> your person didn't believe them though they didn't believe them. So now your person is somewhere soul searching. After dealing with a whole toxic ass, dirty snake. <laughs> they doing some reflecting. Thinking about you. Talking you. Wanting to come back to you. I don't know if that what's going to happen, but look, self, see what I'm saying? I, I said now, I don't know what's going to happen because see, uh, y'all out here loving y'all say. <laughs> Y'all out here loving y'all self. Y'all not trying to get mixed up. I feel like in whatever this person got going on. See what I'm saying? Feelings. But this person still got feelings for you, collective. They do. <laughs> Look, this person wants you to be the new boo. <laughs> I'm telling you, they chose somebody else. Now they want to come back towards you. You to be the new boo. But y'all out here loving on y'all self and... I don't think y'all really paying too much attention to this person. And they in their feelings. This still y'all got a thug in their feelings. Look, yeah, because y'all are happily fucking single. Y'all not trying to hurt this shit. Y'all not. Child. And, and and whoever this person is, whoever this thug is, y'all was dealing with this street nigga. This nigga that's always on the motherfucking block. Y'all would rather be single than to deal with somebody who keeps secrets and backstab you. Yeah. You would. And they know it too. So that's probably why they soul searching and reflecting, trying to figure out how they gonna get you to take them back because you do have unfinished business here. But what's going on in your person's connection? Remember, we saw ex lover breakup. They going through a breakup with somebody that they had a toxic ass relationship with. Them. They is they thinking about you, wondering how they can come back towards you. 
But again, if they watching you, they see that you loving on your motherfucking self and that you probably happily single and doing you. You're stress free now. You know what I'm saying? You just focused on your... Oh, that's too many. You just focused on your goals, uh, collective. Whoever... Yeah. Y'all, this is so funny. This karmic energy, your person must have had a sex addiction. Because you got sex addiction and then you got Jezebel. So your person chose... A Jezebel spirit, somebody who sleep around, somebody who is toxic, very fun, and they gave them something, they caught something, and now they praying, asking spirit to help them get away from this person. Or child, I don't. They want to chill with you, less chill, God. But this person just, they got too many secrets. <laughs> they got too many goddamn secrets. I told y'all this was gonna be some third party bullshit. Third party fuckery. You got family, and then you got bumping heads. So for some of y'all, if this person, again, tried to build a family with this person, they bumping heads. If your person was taking the advice of other people, say, let's say family members, oh, guess what? Oh, now they all bumping heads. Everybody bumping heads. Everybody into it. Everybody fighting, child. Look, all because this person want to come back to you. <laughs> I'm telling you, your person is leaving a third party because they want to come back to you. And your person is bumping heads with their family members, their friends, because they want to spend the motherfucking block and come back to you collectively. Child, y'all got this person fucked up. This person says shit, they don't learn they motherfucking lesson. And, and they want to come back to you. They are fucking in this five of cups ass energy feeling guilty and ashamed and shit. Child, they know they was in the wrong. This person is so motherfucking embarrassed. Look, but they fucked up over you. Eels. This person is fucked up over you. And a lot of y'all, I'm just, I mean, I ain't even, a lot of y'all dealing with somebody who could have been a little confused, maybe about their sexuality. I don't know. And maybe they feeling guilty and embarrassed about that. But your person is losing their mind. Look at this. See them pieces falling apart? Your person is losing their mind because. I just kind of feel like because they got so much bullshit going on around them that they don't know where to begin. It's like they got with somebody that they thought had it all and all they had was an STD and they done gave it to them. Now, I'm not saying if it's incurable or not. I don't know. But they definitely caught something from this other person. Then they sitting up thinking about what they people told them, what they mama said, what they family, and then they like, damn, now they bumping heads with these people because as they get into it with this third party, this other person, and let's say they stay with this person. Well, they don't want to stay with this person no more. They call their family. They family don't want to let them come there, but it's like you the reason why I'm here with this person, so why don't you want to hit? So now they bumping heads with the family. Baby, I'm telling you, your person is, they should feel ashamed. They should feel like a motherfucking jackass for the shit that they done got they self into for real collective because they done got into some things. And I don't even know how they gonna get out of this shit. <laughs> I don't know how they gonna get out of this shit. They took a risk. They took a risk with this motherfucking snake and it's costing their ass. <laughs> you got unfinished business and you got reconciled so whoever your person is they definitely definitely feel like you were the better option and they want you back this person watches you from a distance okay just know that that they watch you they keep their eye on you <clears throat> they watch you on social media if you have any form of social media i don't know if you do or not okay and if you don't guess what that shit was not for you okay okay yay moving forward <laughs> Let's get into some tarot. I got this new deck the other day, y'all. I haven't used it yet, but we're going to use it today. Because it's a little cute. Look at this food. Look at this food color. Ain't that cute? Ain't that cute? Yes. And so, so Spirit, let's get into the message. You know what's going on with the collective's person. You know what I'm saying? We know. They losing their motherfucking mind over the collective. Y'all saw the pieces, the puzzle pieces. They losing their mind over the collection. 
Or was it the collective? No. What do I need to know? Oh. Okay, let's cleanse the cards real quick, y'all. What do the collective need to know? All this I need to Show me what I need to see. Remove the energy from this deck and place my energy with it. I can hear clear concise messages for the collectives. That is good. It's the cards. Okay. Why I love you so much, Monica. Okay. Let's get a good shuffle. Cause y'all saw me just rip me out the plastic I've been having to bring. What is going on? Drama, five of wands, discord, conflict. Because of an ending. So let's see. What do the collective need to know? Oh, yeah. Somebody want to talk to y'all, please. What do the collective need to know? Spirit will be aware of at this time. What do they need to know or be aware of at this time? What do the collective need to know or be aware of at this time? It's too many. <clears throat> what do they need to know or be aware of? Spirit? Okay, the world. Ooh, karmic cycle coming to an end. Could be dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus. <clears throat> but there's a completion. There's some type of completion. And this is the, the world card is the number 21. 21 breaks down to three to a partnership. Three talks about partnerships. So there's a break, a completion of a partnership. And some of y'all could be dealing with a twin flame connection with the yin and yang symbol right there. But there's a, a cycle that is, has come to complete, come to completion. Within some type of partnership. Death. Yep. Yep. There's been an ending. And you got Carla. Baby Carla. So. Yeah. She done acted a fool on somebody. <laughs> Look how she dancing on top of this man. Yeah. So your person is definitely. Maybe going through some. Some major karma. So they can go through some type of transformation. Baby. But that, there is a completion of a cycle. What's going on? The spirit is needing you to be aware of. So they definitely going through some, look, now your person is dealing with a lot of burdens. Yeah, your person going through karma. <clears throat> your person is dealing with a lot of karma right now. But I feel like that's about to come to completion. Look, Ace of Swords, yeah. The fact that they are closing out a karmic cycle is, is a heavy burden for this person, especially when it comes to partnerships, any type of partnerships, family, friends, romantic partnerships, whatever the case may be. Look, yep, I can't make it up. Three of Cups. So there is a partnership coming to an end. There, there it's that toxic ass relationship. It's a toxic relationship. Child. What, what do the collective need to know or be aware of at this time? The truth has come out. You know what I'm saying? Your person can no longer hide. I feel like they can no longer hide how they feel collective. Either towards you or about you. Look, five of swords <laughs> and the nine of wands. So, yeah, there's a lot of conflict between your person and whoever this third party is, whether it's family, friends, or a romantic person. And your person is just over it. They over it. Ten of Wands, they, they tired of this shit. The truth, they done spoke their truth. It is what it is. Third party probably feeling some type of way, but your person is tired. They ready to walk away from all of this shit because they, they just feeling conflicted and defeated and overwhelmed and burdened. And and they want to come towards you. Because I feel like this is y'all with this Nine of Wands energy. Because you got the Five of Pentacles under the bottom of the deck. The Five of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This person is missing the fuck out of you. Because they feel like you they soulmate. They feel like y'all belong together. This, you the yin to they yang. I told you. <laughs> you the yin to they motherfucking me yang. But this is somebody who hired they true feelings or who hid they true feelings but not anymore with the moon and the sun right here yeah i feel like your person may have let it be known how they feel towards you and how they want to come towards you and fight for a connection with you and because of that 
they going through a lot of conflict, not only with a third party that they was fucking with or dealing with, but also friends, family. You know what I'm saying? So you got to put it. Look, see what I'm saying? Baby, your person is going through some drama, five of ones. But I feel like it's only because your person is ready for something different. Your person is no longer resonating with the life that they used to live. The world code. What I just said. They're not resonating with the life that they used to live anymore. Whoa. Look, King of Swords cannot make this shit up. Being practical, cutting off people, places, things that no longer serve them in order to have a brand new passionate beginning. Ace of Wands. To have a brand new passionate beginning. Yep. Look, being very strategic too in how they get how they get out of this. Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords. They being very strategic about freeing themselves from something that they felt bound to. To come back to you, six of cups, baby. You got them fucked up, collecting ten of wands. Yeah, right now your person is definitely dealing with a lot, but they are speaking their truth to whoever they around. <clears throat> they telling people how they truly feel. This is not somebody who is holding back anymore. Ten of wands. See what I'm saying? The emperor. This person is definitely dealing with a lot right now, but they are optimistic about moving forward. She, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they going through some things right now. They, um, you know, going through whatever karma they going through. Because, again, Colin's on this person, standing on top of this person. So, they going through whatever they going through now. This person is most likely reaping something that they sow. And, you know, they dealing with their consequences. But they are optimistic about moving forward. Yeah, I'm telling you. They removing themselves from whatever situation that is. Especially, the, uh, especially, especially. If it's a toxic situation, your person is now seeing it for what it is, whether it's romantic or platonic, <laughs> friend or family. I'm just saying they are freeing themselves so they can heal. Ace of Swords, uh, the per somebody is now seeing the truth. They all, everybody see the truth. I'm hearing everybody see the truth. Ace of Swords, look. <laughs> They they see the truth. Your person see the truth. They know you meant to be with them. They feel like you they soulmate. And they done told somebody else. The collective is my soulmate. I love them and I want to get back with them. I want to be with them. I want something long term with them. And look, the two of ones and the three of ones, they are definitely going to make a decision to move forward so they can be in this relationship. <laughs> and they done told somebody that. You ain't my soulmate. The collective is my soulmate. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. And now they realize that, collective. <clears throat> Maybe they didn't realize in the past that, you know, y'all were meant to be together. They realize it now. I, that looked like the Ten of Pentacles. Hold on, because it's been way over there. Damn. Okay, yes, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. And then the song that came on is uh, Be Without You. And it's on the part where she say, I want to be with you, want to be with you. Yeah, you, I told The chemistry was crazy from the get-go. Neither one of us knew why. Y'all, I'm talking about the attraction that y'all feel to each other when y'all met. Hmm. Yeah. That's why this person wanted now. Ten of Pentacles. They see you as the person that they want to have this long-term relationship with. And they letting it be known. Even if this person family had told them, you can't be with the collective. I don't like them. You know what I'm saying? They not the right fit for our family. Whatever the case may be. This person said they can't be without you. Because they can't sleep without you. They can't. This person. Child. Too hard to fake it. Nothing can replace it. <laughs> Look. Three of cups. This person. Whoa. Child. See, three of cups. Six of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, yeah. This person is, want, they want you back. This person is ready to celebrate and have a victory with you. And, you know, so they so they are definitely making this change. I feel like they're making this change for you, collective. Ace of Pentacles under the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they want something stable with you. And in order to have a victory with you, they know they have to change. 
They know they have to change. All the signs out here. So I'm not even. The only reason I said the world of uh, Tyrus is very strong. And the fig signs is Aquarius, Scorpio, Tyrus, and Leo. But all the signs are out here. See, this is real talk. Hey. Good or bad? Right or wrong? <laughs> yeah, this person says she They want you. And this person know that you a little guarded towards them. Mainly because they played a lot of motherfucking games in the past and shit. They... You know, it's like they wanted to be in competition with you, and you just weren't finna do that. You weren't finna compete for this person. You weren't finna argue. You weren't gonna sell her. You weren't gonna do none of that. So you walked away, and you know what I'm saying they they thought they had got a victory, but they really didn't. She is. now they thinking about coming toward you, having a victory with you. Yeah, I owe you an apology. Will you forgive me? Page your cups. I'm telling you, this person want to come in and apologize for the mind games, for the manipulation. <laughs> Look, I told you. And it's because Kali on that ass. That's why. Yeah, that's why. And they coming. See what I'm saying? Six of swords. To the Empress. Yeah, this person is coming. The Emperor is already out here. They already out here dealing with a lot. So again, like I said, this could be your counterpart or soulmate connection. Strong soulmate connection that you have with somebody. But they coming in to apologize for these playing games and shit. Cause they want to be with you, want to be with you. <laughs> she, they do. Okay, that's too many. But look at what's on top. On top, the Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. They want to be with you. They want to be with the Queen of Swords. Hell, they know you guarded toward them because of the shit that they did. So, at the end of the day, all they can really do is come in, apologize, and move forward. I don't know. Where y'all move forward? I don't think y'all move. But this is what's going on with this person. They want to come in and apologize for their childish ass behavior. Father Swords. <laughs> Father Swords. Whoa. Child. I'm telling you. <clears throat> this person want to come in and apologize. This person is right now very emotional about you. Page of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups. Very emotional about you right now because they see you as they total wish fulfillment. And they do want a brand new beginning with you. Look, this person said they learned that lesson and they read it. That now they now they read it for a higher level of commitment with you. They're not coming to play no games. They don't want to play no games. This person said, I miss you too much to be to, to be trying to come back to play games. <laughs> but whoever that's for. This person is not ready to give up on this connection. They're not ready to give up. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. If you look at my life, you'll see what I see. Well, maybe your person not been through some things in life. I don't know what she is. Nine of Wands. Look, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. No, this person feel like you are uh, rejecting they offer to, yeah, look, four cups. They feel like you ain't going to accept they offer. <laughs> they feel like you are not going to accept this offer if they come back towards you. They feel like, you know, it's not possible. Three of ones, but they going to still come anyway. They just wait. Some of y'all, this person is just waiting on you to accept they offer to return. Yeah, because you the one who not talking to look, you not talking to them. See what I'm saying? High priestess, two of swords, and the queen of swords. You the one holding back from them. Yep, you holding back from this person. But they ain't letting you go. This person is holding on tight to you. And like I said, they want to move away from the conflict. <laughs> they just waiting on you to accept this offer that you don't want to accept right now. She <laughs> any one more for the nine of wands. But this person is not going to give up. They're not going to give up. If they got to wait, they're going to wait. Three of Wands, yeah. They're going to wait. They're going to wait. They're going to wait. They ain't going nowhere. So yesterday I did a 50 minute reading, y'all. That whole song, they don't do shit. Why did that? It recorded, but it... Okay, that turned around. It recorded, but I don't know what happened to it. I got ready to upload it. <clears throat> it was gone. <laughs> I said, what well, that? Okay, well, maybe I wasn't supposed to record yesterday. That's why I recorded yesterday. 
carry it. I told you. They're going to wait. And when, when the perfect time presents itself, this person will be coming. Knock, 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 you know. Yeah, they're going to be knocking on your door. Yeah, you don't see it. You ain't going to even see it coming, collective. But I guarantee you this person is coming. And they're coming in with the truth, with the moon and the sun. It's go, you're going to see a, a total difference in this person from night to day. I guarantee it. Because they're going through a transformation. I'm telling you, Kali on their neck. Okay, I like these cards. They nice. They nice. H Astro Matrix Tarot. If y'all interested, they are some beautiful cards. But yeah, that's what's going on with your person. They in a whole toxic relationship. Putting people in their motherfucking place, basically. After being played. <laughs> After being played and made a fool of. You know, they, they coming in to fight for a day. Or they're going to want to come in and fight for a connection with you. They are. Now, I don't know if you're going to give in to it. But I do see. We're going to see. What will happen. If the collective. Allows this person back. Into their life. What do I need to see? If only you knew by Patty LaBelle. Child, I'm not, this one probably SWV. Yo, this SWV. Let's see. Yeah, this person coming in to rebuild what they sabotaged. Is. potential of this connection if this person comes if the collective allows this person back into their life what would be the potential outcome show me what I need to see if the collective allows this person back into their life oh child you got karmic relationship fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you some of y'all this will be a karmic cycle that you'll be repeating with somebody. Maybe because they haven't learned the lessons. Look, other than y'all, child wedding rings. Give me one more. No. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Well, excuse me. Oh, but hey, you know what? <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> What's the outcome if you... Your person went into a karmic relationship. That's what happened because they had to learn lessons. But there is gonna this person is now ready to heal and mend this connection, ready to make a healthy choice. Yeah, this person is about to chase y'all. They gonna chase y'all. Like I said, they not gonna give up. Love call. Look, love. Hands of cards. Maybe y'all try to addict. Maybe this person is so addicted to you. I'm telling you. So for some of y'all. This person is, if y'all choose to take this person back for whoever this is resonating with, because not y'all that don't want your person back, but the ones who do, I kind of feel like it will like go somewhere. I feel like it'll go somewhere because you got karmic relationship, but healing hard. So your person went into a karmic relationship to learn lessons, but this connection will be, you know, this person is, um, Freeing themselves from this karmic relationship that they in. Remember, toxic relationship. They're freeing themselves from that. And they're going to make a healthy choice to chase you. So if you choose this person, if you choose to risk being with this person, you got love call and then you got love. So, I mean, it's I guess it's just going to be up to y'all, goddamn me, at the end of the day. Don't be scared. Some of y'all going to take that chance. Well, let's see. But they going to chase you. They're not going to give up on you taking them back. They want you. Oh, no. Let's see. This kind of relationship that they in. What do the collective need to know about it? What does this person have to say about what's going on? Because your person is definitely in a karmic relationship. 
some third quarter bullshit, but I do see them closing out that cycle. The first quarter that came out was the world quarter. So that chronic relationship is coming to an end. They freeing themselves from this toxic relationship or this addiction with this person. I feel things have changed in this relationship. Exactly. Yeah. It's coming to an end. So your person is, I mean, if you choose to move forward with this person, I feel like it could work. I have him doing unhealthy things to ruin him for you. Again, they know this person is coming back to you. So they're trying to ruin this person's life. But I don't feel like it's going to work. It's not going to be able to work. It's not. I mean, they may be able to slow this person down. But they're not going to be able to stop this person from coming in and being with you. Yes, they going through karma. They learning some lessons. <laughs> they are. But they can't stop what's meant they can't stop what's meant to be you know <laughs> but everything that's going on in this in this connection with whoever this person is you watching this video for it was meant to happen it was faded so you in the right place at the right time right now look it's on <laughs> it's on i see you looking good and moving on I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better. I will compete for you. So even if y'all have tried to move on, dating other people, seeing somebody else, this person is, they they willing to compete for you. You know, they know that they can't tell you that you can't move on and be with somebody else and date other people. You know what I'm saying? Then you looking good. You're going to change up your appearance and shit. Those throw all dressing different, looking different, all type of things. You know what I'm saying? And they loving that shit because they remember they definitely watch you. <clears throat> Look. You're so smart. <laughs> Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart and I really enjoy our conversations. So your person missed the communication that they had with you because of your intelligence. It's, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the person that they chose or maybe the person they in this karmic relationship with, maybe this person is, maybe they not so intelligent. I'm going to just say that part. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to call them dumb because that's not a cute word, but you know, that's what it is basically. But they, they evil as fuck. Look, father wounds. Yep. So your your person is somebody who is wrestling or healing through these daddy issues. My father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. But remember, we saw family and then bumping heads. Your person is no longer caring about what this father has to say. You know, if they hear or not, I don't know. Um, I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me and externally. So your person, even though they are grown as man or a grown ass woman they still feel like a little boy or a little girl on the inside so they come they was most likely coming in your life gaslighting you trying to make you a motherfucking option in the past oh but they regret it now they want to say they're sorry <laughs> they want to say they're sorry and if they have to again if they have to come in and compete for you they willing to do that they willing to do that look see what i'm saying and i picked up some of these cards so i could close out the reading but this one flipped over this person is going to be coming towards you with good intentions when they come collected. Now, look, please talk to me. <laughs> please talk to me. I told y'all, y'all, some of y'all probably got this person blocked, but you just not talking to this person. Y'all may just, hey, how you doing? What you doing? How are you today? Type of energy. But this person wants you to, like, really talk to them. They know that they sabotaged this connection. They know they did. But they want you back, child. Y'all saw their head floating apart. Christmas is they mental is being fucked with because they don't have you. Or and and really because of everything they're going through. I saw the will be calling, texting, and DMing you soon. So they gonna try to figure out how they can get in touch with you. If y'all not talking right now, oh they 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 wanna look because whoever they went, oh they ain't even attracted to this person. They don't child, they don't even sleep with this person. Probably because they had an S T D. And maybe your <laughs> maybe, you know, if they done got cured or whatever, I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to get it again or maybe they don't want to risk it shit but whoever they fucking with or was fucking with it was a whole sexual to ass relationship they don't even look at that person as somebody that they think is sexy that's too many that they think is sexy enough to even turn them on <laughs> I told you about this third party fucker hey my mom look drug addict They'll do it. They do it all. Pills, powder, gas, meth. Ooh. 
So I feel like, you know, it could be either your person or the person that they deal with. I don't know. Put a word on. It could be somebody that your person is around in their family. Look, yeah, that's mad because they want to choose you now. Person said that choose you. Fuck this third party. It's so pill popping, you know, powder sniffing in. You know what I'm saying? Whatever drug or habit that they got. You know, your person don't want no more of it. You know what I'm saying? Even if this was your person, this was somebody that they hooked up with to party with. It's like your person is no longer interested in that energy. They don't like that energy anymore. Look, it says, do not accept this person back. You will regret it. Hmm. So you can take this two ways. Either your person was told, excuse me, not to take this person back and they would regret it or this may be spirit way of telling you not to take this person back because you will regret it. I don't know. No, this got to be them because remember the card that flipped over was coming in with good intentions. So this definitely have to be your person. Your person was warned to not go back to a particular person. Because they knew this person couldn't be trusted, but they still went back. Look, they trying to figure things out. But being apart from you is making them a better motherfucking me person. And they will be back. What? They will be back. Child. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody whose mama could like, you know, could have you a female. Their mama could have been a little um interested in you and kind of maybe came in between the connection between you and your person to break y'all up because she wanted to and just that's for somebody look some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius look dark energy is following your person yeah because they got all this because they dealing with somebody toxic so they they are becoming a better person by being away from you because they got to start making healthy choices. Look, the karma they are getting may cause suicidal thoughts. And I tell you, Kyla had their ass on their neck. She had her, she got her foot on their neck, and baby, they going through it. But after they go through it, they plan on coming and fighting for the connection that <laughs> that they have with you. Look, they regret lying to you and on you, ready to clear the air. Yeah, your person like I can't take this shit no more. I can't say this shit no more, but y'all out there living y'all best motherfucking life. Look, and I just saw uncurable STD or STI shit. So, I don't know. What else to the collective needs to know? Closing out the read and what else to the collective needs to know? Show me what I need to see. Blood magic being done. Child third party trying to do blood magic. Or they were trying to either do it on you or they were trying to do it on this person. But I don't feel like it's working. Look, your person missed the hell out of you. They reading your old text messages. If you get done any message that messages on old pictures on old social media posts and shit, they missed the fuck out you. See what I'm saying? But somebody was wishing you would have failed, but you didn't. You kept going and you shining. You still shining. It says secretly wishing you would have failed, but you won't and never will. See, you doing good. You doing good. And somebody else is getting karma doing bad. Some of y'all, this is your own motherfucking family that's, that was wishing you would have failed. Look, but y'all protected. What the fuck? Child, y'all protected. This blood magic that's being done, none of that shit is going to affect you. You have protection. Shit, look, yo, I was a fool for love, child. I ain't finna play with y'all. Yeah, your person, they, they didn't have this Taurus, Libra, this Pisces. They have no self respect, no self worth. They were very insecure and they fucking settled. But they don't want this situation to be over with you. Like, this is not over until I say it's over. 11 11, going through a spiritual awakening, yeah. Arising to the occasion because they know that they are meant to be more than what they have been being. Again, this is somebody who maybe their whole life they've been being a fuck boy or a fuck girl. They tired of that. They tired of that. Look, they regret lying to you and on you, and they ready to clear the earth. <laughs> what else? Look, do you still love me? Do you still love me? Okay. All my life, Casey and JoJo, I pray for someone like you. And I thank God that I finally found you. I choose you. And why don't these cards want to shuffle like this? Person? Your person is stubborn. Even though they have all these deep feelings for you, they stubborn. Ooh. <coughs> but I don't think this is over. 
See what I'm saying? Because after I said they stubborn, then they before it start shift. I mean, shuffle. I would never find another lover sweeter than you. And they won't. And I would never find another more precious than you. Girl, you are close to me. You like my close to me. You like my <laughs> like you are the only one. You this person everything. Look, you've changed, and you're not the same person that this person remember you to be. You, you're not. I, look, especially if you're an Aquarius, or if you're dealing with a question, all, uh, or if you're dealing with an Aquarius, all their life they pray for somebody like you connected. And they do thank God that they finally found you. It's just this person had to go through a whole karmic ass relationship to learn some lessons so they could heal. Maybe your person was carrying around, you know, these daddy wounds that they were carrying around. Maybe it was making them make all the wrong type of decisions in their life. This lesson, this karmic relationship that they're going through is going to allow them to heal so they can begin to make healthier choices. And they, they coming in for you. Look, and the karmic wants revenge. Somebody wants revenge, but the universe is blocking this person from ever being able to touch you. They can't touch you collective. They can't. Look, and all this person wants to know is, do you still love them? I'm going to end it right there, y'all, because I've been talking too long. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading.